it. You don't like how it tastes. My therapist told me don't bury my issues, but I'm gonna be honest, man. I'm feeling great. <laughs>
Wait, is he? Who's he? Huh. I'm curious. I like this. I like this. I just need to know who he's talking about. Is he talking about his mom? Is he talking about his girlfriend? Like, who is he talking about? Who's he talking about? Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. There is one more theory I have. He could just be talking about himself, wholesome, you know, like the side of himself that it has been through a lot and stuff like that or i mean that that that's my other interpretation from this um, i know you guys said there's a particular way to listen to these songs and stuff but for somebody that's new coming into the nf scene um these this song was suggested to me first it was intro three and then mansion um obviously if you want me to listen to any of his other songs you already know where to hit me up at the comment section down below don't forget to follow me on instagram and stuff and reach me there if i don't reply to your comment or at least heart your comment acknowledging that I saw it. Uh, but yeah, so I'm wondering if he's talking about another person or he's just talking about another side of his personality. And uh, he's addressing the issues with that. Hmm. Oh. See, right there he said, shut up, you can't get rid of all of me. So I feel like he's talking about himself. Cause I don't, I don't know, I don't know his backstory at all. So I can't say he doesn't have siblings or does, and I'm not, sh and I can't say that he has a bad relationship with his mom or anything. I can, I can point out two things. So far, I have not heard any swearing in his songs, which is impressive because almost everybody swears. Now, to the people on here that are watching this reaction, that are thinking like, yeah, man, he doesn't swear. That's why he's good. That's not why he's good. There, you can be really good at rapping and swear up a storm. I don't want, I want to clear the air up. You can be great at rapping and swear up a storm. You can be great at rapping and talk about money, women, and drugs. You can. You literally can. Um, Tupac covered all of that, but he covered a side of it that addressed that as an issue. Like, hey, boom, this is an issue. People gl glamorize it, and um, sometimes it's what it's caked up to be, and a lot of times it's not. So um, when we look at music and when we break it down, we have to be real with ourselves, you know? Um, what good music really is because think about it if good music was just music with no swear words and music that pushed a very specific agenda then that would be the reigning supreme music that would be what was popular right but that's not what's popular all by itself there's a, a wide variety of things in uh, the rap and hip-hop game that are popular so um, I do appreciate his his style a lot I don't think anybody can do it like he can so um, I definitely I, I rock with him so far so good Oh. <laughs> Yo, he just literally touched on what I just talked about. <laughs> He's ever going to just pick a random beat, rap over for three minutes, and then, yeah, woo, it's deep, isn't it? Like, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I, I understand. Like, he makes, see, the thing is, um, what, like, I, I, I touched on it earlier, right? And this is a very important thing I'm about to say. So pay very close attention. It won't be long. You have artists that are in it for the money purely, right? And they want to make instant bangers. So what they'll do is they'll bite whatever beat is currently popular. They'll talk about irrelevant things. And they may get their 15 minutes of fame because that's what people at the time are interested in. The thing is, they have no creativity and they don't, and they're not used to actually writing quality content. So if that's not really in them like that, they're not going to retain their fan base. Their fan base is going to, I call it a shotgun fan base. They're going to hop on because it sounds good at the time. Once the fad is over, they leave the artist high and dry and the artist becomes irrelevant, which is hence why you have one hit wonders. Now for the people who make good content, meaning uh, content that is relatable, that will get people listening to the track over and over again, years and years and years after its release. Um, those are artists like J. Cole, Eminem, uh, Kendrick Lamar. Um, you know, you have Logic as well. The difference between those artists and art artists like you know, you know, Chief Keef or uh, Lil Pump or whatever is the fact that you can find substance in you know 
the first group of people I've mentioned is music. You can find a lot of substance in what they have to say. In fact, a lot of people are going through the issues that they talk about, which makes it relatable, and people come back and listen to that when either they're in the they're stuck in a rut and they're in a similar situation that they're talking about or if they just want to kind of like you know really think about um an issue that they're talking about and then obviously too they they're they, they, the song sounds good so they're gonna you know listen to it over and over again but those are the elements that retain a loyal fan base that won't leave no matter what and a fan base that's like eh we're done we're tired of this we want something new so yeah that's pretty much it mm. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> oh shit so he is talking about himself he said he has a lot of problems he's basically addressing his issues having a conversation with his problems right and he's like you know what my therapist said i probably shouldn't bury these things but I'm put I'm burying these issues and I'm doing completely fine. But like I said, and like you guys told me, there is a lot more to this story in a lot of his other songs. I'm eager to find out what that is. So can't wait. I think it's only right we go back to where you were created. I wrote a song for Johnny without you, but he ain't gonna like it. Let's see how he takes it. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, damn, that's crazy, man. I mean, he's very transparent. What one one big thing that helps a lot of artists uh, retain a genuine fan base is transparency. How how truthful can you be about your life to the people that follow you? Um, because at the end of the day, it's about being relatable. If I can't really relate to you, it's gonna be hard for me to enjoy the music um, to its fullest extent, you know, um, or at least understand where you're coming from. Uh, that's that's a really big thing. That is a really big thing, and I think that's what makes artists amazing. And like I said, this dude is clearly doing it the right way. So. He said, I thought you, I was the one that had you in prison the whole time, but you know, I'm the one holding the keys, man. This, this dude is, this dude is type crazy, bro. Like he's, he's slick with it. He is slick with it. <laughs> I like it, man. This is, this is NF, man. This is, this is NF. This is the NF that I wanted to hear, man. The other NF sounded like he was trying to like, you know, he was kind of biting a similar flow that I've heard before. Um, as far as the flow goes, you don't really need to have a crazy flow for this type of song. Like. You just need to make sure that the the message you're conveying is very clear, and he definitely got that across. Um, and at least the way I interpreted it, like he was basically addressing a lot of his issues that he had, and um, talking to basically a side of himself that he's been conflicting with, and um, saying, "Hey, cool, we're gonna rise above no matter what. Like I don't really have to deal with you head on." Boom, and uh, maybe that might be the best way to handle issues, but still, you know, that's crazy. I'm going to see if there's more left over at the end of this song. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that was NF Intro 3. Um, we're gonna check out more of his music today too, guys, because that was definitely something that will get me listening again. That will definitely get me listening again. I already knew. I had a feeling when I looked up NF. I'm like, hmm. I'm gonna listen to him, and I'm gonna find out what his agenda is because I'm not entirely sure what it is. But I need to, I need to, I need to figure it out. I can't just listen to one song and be ignorant and say, wow, I don't like this artist, because I have a general idea of what his all of his music sounds like. Because I mean, there is a reason why he has a large following. It's not because he has one style of song. Like, he has a way of doing things, and I wanted to figure that out. Now, a lot of you guys explained it to me, so I'm going to go ahead and check out more of his music. Um, I guess stick around with me as we go on this journey to find out the truth behind NF. 
and through all of his music. And if you guys have any of favorite songs from this artist or any other artist, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and being a part of the break gang and also being a part of this breakdown. I know a lot of you guys said the jump cuts were not working for a song like this. Um, always pause when I'm doing things like this, articulate what I'm what I'm thinking, and that's what I've been doing with you guys. Hopefully that worked. Hopefully that was chill. Um, if uh, you know you guys rock with that, like I said, follow, just subscribe to the channel and you'll see a lot more um, things. I'm also gonna check out Ryan Upchurch. I heard that he's also really good as well. So um, we got a lot of really cool stuff coming to the channel, man. Don't 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 worry about it too much. But we got a lot of cool stuff coming to the channel. Um, thank you guys, like I said, once again for sticking with this. And, and the next time I see you guys again. Take care. Peace.